Ha. Hey everyone, Hassan here. Got another Power Rangers Super Mega Force review for you today. These are the Deluxe Zord Armor Rangers. There's two different ones. There's the Deluxe Legendary Zord Armor Ranger and the Deluxe Gosei Great Zord Armor Ranger. When these were first revealed, they looked a kind of odd and I wondered why they were making these. But then once they have actually released, they actually have what seems to be pretty interesting stuff. So um, I'll be opening these up and taking a look at uh, how these are. But they seem to actually be kind of interesting. They have a couple of different features. Uh, so before I do open it up, I did want to just give you an idea of what the box looks like here. So it does show you. Uh, here's the Deluxe Legendary Zord Armor Ranger. So it's somewhat based off of the Legendary Megazord. Um, I'll show you a comparison of what the actual one looks like so you can kind of see. And it does come with a... Um, a little uh, Super Mega Force Red figure there. Um, it is Zord Builder compatible, so we'll take a look at that. Uh, but what's neat about these is the arm can be used as a Ranger key. So that's kind of interesting there. And you can put the little Ranger inside of it as kind of like a bit of armor. Um, and here's the back. It shows you, again, Ranger inside just like that. And you can use the, the arm as a Ranger key in the Megazord or the Morpher there. Um, here's the Legendary Megazord, and it shows you different uh, Zord Builder combinations right there. So we'll take a look at all that stuff as well. Uh, the bottom just has UPC, everything. So oh, it's kind of neat also on the packaging there, just a bunch of Red Rangers. So you have Operation Overdrive, RPM, Ninja Storm, Wild Force, Mighty Morphin, Super Mega Force, Mega Force, Samurai, Mystic Force, SPD, all of those right there. So I like that artwork, that's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah, that is the Deluxe Legendary. Zord Armor Ranger. And then we have the Deluxe Gosei Great Zord Armor Ranger. Uh, this one took me a second to kind of see how it was even based on that, but I can kind of make it out. There's like the dragon right there, and I, I guess it's it's very loosely based on the Gosei Great Megazord. So again, I'll show you a comparison just so you can really see the difference. Uh, it does come with somewhat of a Megaforce Red figure. Um, not much paint, so it's kind of doesn't really look like it, but it is. Um, also, arm is a Ranger key on this one. And it shows you how the Red Ranger goes inside of it there. Um, so, same thing basically. Um, same stuff there. So, uh, yeah, those are the two Zord Armor Rangers. Very interesting products in this toy line. So, let's open these things up and see how they are. Alright, I've now opened up these Zord Armor figures here. And, uh, yeah, they're actually pretty interesting. I've been messing around with them. There's a bunch of different things that these guys can do. On the surface, they seem like, why do they make these? But when you actually open them up personally, I think they're kind of cool. Uh, so here they are. Let's move the boxes out of the way. And uh, first things first, so they each come with their own little figure. So the legendary Zord Armor one comes with the Super Mega Force Red Ranger here. So here's what he looks like. Uh, very lacking in paint. The only paint is you got the white logo there, the red, or sorry, not the red, the black visor, and the gold right there, but otherwise all red. So, yeah, pretty lacking in paint. If we compare that to the, uh, the five inch figure, obviously you'll see a significant difference there in terms of the paint and everything. So, um, I mean, I will say these guys are kind of better than what was with the cycle, you know, I'll show you what, what came with the the cycles. Like, here's the one that came with the uh, Lost Galaxy cycle. Uh, well, first of all, they're stuck in this weird position, but... I mean, it, I think it's kind of nice that it has the paint here and stuff. Um, I mean, I, it's still pretty terrible, but um, slightly better. At least he's kind of standing. What is interesting about this, though, is this is actually the exact size of the 4-inch figures. So if I take Megaforce red 4-inch figure, you'll see exact size. So there's Megaforce and Super Megaforce right there. And actually, uh, the Gosei Great Zord Armor comes with a Megaforce Red Ranger, so you'll see same size there. So that's actually kind of neat that they have the same exact size, and, and I'll tell you why that's, that's also kind of cool um, if you have some of the older toys a little bit later. Uh, but he's got the gold on there and that, so they're both pretty plain, both of the figures that they come with. Um, but it's kind of neat that they have 4-inch figures because you can use other foreign figures as well. So, um, yeah, so those are kind of neat. I'll, I'll keep those around just to show you some stuff. Um, but here they are. First up, let's take a look at uh, the legendary Zord armor here. So this is the one from Super Mega Force, and uh, as you can see, it's got all the little symbols there, so it's definitely inspired by the legendary Megazord. Uh, if I bring in the legendary Megazord here, and move this guy out of the way, so we just have these two to compare. 
So looking at these two, I mean, obviously they look quite different, but you'll see this is inspired by this because you have the, the little chess piece thing here, just like this one. Um, you have kind of these, these shoulders right here like that. Um, the feet are somewhat like shorter versions, like this is kind of round, like this one here, and this is the big block like that. So it's definitely inspired by this, um, but uh, it's not, you know, exact. It's obviously shorter and, and kind of like that, but it actually still looks kind of cool. And I like the helmet. I really like just like the black and like the red outline there, and uh, I really like that design there. It's kind of neat. Um, so that's pretty neat there, just in terms of the, the design of this, as you can see. And in terms of what this thing can do, well, I mean, these pieces are all detachable. At least the arms are, so the arms are detachable, because uh, they're Zord Builder compatible. Um, but they do bend slightly right here, so you do have a little bit of, you know, like, you can kind of move this around slightly here. This, this cannon arm here kind of moves slightly, um, so you do have that. The feet don't, um, but, uh, yeah, they, they, they are not, uh, as far as I know, are they detachable? They might be. Yeah, they are. So they are detachable as well. So you can uh, take those out. But um, yeah, there's that. So that's what that looks like. Uh, let's take a look at the, the other one here and compare that with the Ghost A Great Megazord real quick, just to give you an idea of, uh, of what that's like. Got the Ghost A Great right here. Now this one is a bit more obscure. At first glance, I was like, how does this look anything like Ghost A Great? Um, and the helmet looks completely different. Um, but you have kind of a dragonish thing here, uh, so I guess there's that. Um, you have kind of the similar lines like that on, on the Zord there. Um, down here you have kind of the snake and the tiger, somewhat. Um, and the, but they put the little pirate symbol there in the middle, so that's kind of interesting. And the helmet has a pirate symbol up there too, but on the sides it's got like the, the dragon there. So. I mean, it's kind of neat, actually. Uh, I mean, at first glance, it's not really much like Gosei Great, but you can see how it's somewhat inspired by that. Um, and it's kind of cool that they made these interesting little designs. Um, yeah, it's kind of neat. And you have, so this one, again, you do have kind of a bit of a bending on the sides there, but otherwise it's it's pretty similar. Oh, no, now this one comes with like a little chainsaw thing there, and then on this one you had a cannon for the legendary... Zord armor. So that's one difference there. You do get a different kind of a piece there. So let's move that out of the way. And uh, yeah, so these are the two Zord armor pieces here. There's a bunch of different things that you can do with these. So first of all, they're fun little figures like this. You know, they're, they kind of look sort of neat. They have an interesting uh, design to them. I mean, at first glance, they kind of look like, uh, what's the word? Like, Almost like a kitty version, even though Power Rangers is marketed towards kids, but like a kitty version of some of the Zords, like they're tiny and, and stuff like that. But I like the different pieces to them. I like the idea that they're going for, some of the designs. You know, it's not the, the coolest looking thing, but, but I like the idea that they went for, uh, and it looks kind of neat. Um, but the, one of the main things about these figures is, I'll grab this guy here, so you can open up, you just lift up the helmet like that, and then you pull out the chest piece, and you take the little 4-inch figure that it came with, or you can actually use any other 4-inch figure, as I'll show you, but it just, the feet kind of slide in right there, and then you just push him back, so he's standing in like that, and then you can put down the chest piece, and then put the helmet on, and the Red Rangers inside, so it's like, they call it the Zord Armor, because it's like this armor for the Ranger, so it's kind of neat, I mean, to have like the Ranger in there like that. Um, you can do the same here as well, so lift that back up, chest piece, you have this Mega Force 4-inch figure in there. Now this one looks a bit more odd because this is all red and this is kind of a blue thing there, so it kind of doesn't really blend in, um, but any 4-inch figure can actually work in here. So that's what's actually kind of neat about it, because these 4-inch figures are pretty cheap looking. Uh, but let's say I wanted something blue. Well, here's the Mega Force Blue 4-inch figure. So if you have any of the 4-inch figures from the previous few toy lines, then you're in luck, because these fit perfectly into the Zord armor vehicles right there. And now that looks perfect. Like, that it look, fits perfectly. The, the blue and gold and everything, like... That looks great. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think that's really cool that functionality. No, the five-inch figures for Super Mega Force do not fit, as I will try and show you here. Let me take out this guy. 
and I'll grab, where did I put it? Here's the five inch uh, Super Mega Force Red. The feet, like he won't fully, because he can't bend in, this part here because of the little, uh, uh, because of the jacket part, it, it won't fully go in there, it won't bend in. If I, if this piece were to come off, then maybe it could go in there, but this piece, you know, I don't want to break it. It might come off. Oh, it does. You know what? Let's do it anyways. Let's try. I haven't done this yet, so let's see. He's kind of like sticking out a little bit here. So you can have him like this if you wanted. Like, that's kind of neat, maybe. I don't know. Uh, does this fit on it now? I don't know if this is going to completely close. It kind of does. He's like sticking out like that. The helmet's not going to go back on. But if you want him like that, actually, that's kind of cool. You know, he's got, he's on this little vehicle he's like ready to fight actually that's kind of neat i i, I kind of like that actually so so technically you can fit the five inch figures somewhat on there they're not supposed to go on there but uh it's possible so there's another little use for these figures lots of, like i said there's lots of different uh things that you can do with these so that's one of the things they're meant to be like armors so let's take the uh the figures out of here now and move those to the side all right so you have those now right now, the other thing that you can do is all these pieces are Zord Builder compatible. So you can take, um, I'll start with uh, this guy here first, the legendary Zord armor. And I got the legendary Megazord here. So you can combine it somewhat. Um, so there's a couple different things you can do. First off, the helmet for this can come off. And you can actually take the helmet from this guy off of there, and it goes right on here. And it kind of looks cool. I like that helmet on here. I like, I like the black... And, and then the red outline kind of color scheme. I think that looks neat. Um, then what you can also do, you can take off those there, and both of these can become arms. So you can give them a uh, little cannon arm there, and then a ranger key arm right here. So it's kind of neat, I guess. Um, it looks a little odd because these arms seem like they're slightly like small compared to the rest of the body, but... Uh, you know, it's one thing that you can do, and it's somewhat neat. I wish these would bend a bit more, um, but at least they kind of bend a little bit. So, you have that there. Um, and then another thing that you can actually do with this, um, it doesn't really show it on the box, but the instructions show this, and I thought this was kind of neat, is, so this part here, right here you can just kind of push the two legs together until it clicks like that, and then this whole giant piece can just attach on like that. So it looks really weird like that, but it is possible. And then the, the one other thing, this part can actually go in the little chest piece there. So if I take a little ranger key here, let's open this thing up, turn the key, this pops out. And if you push this in, probably about, yeah, about that much, um, you can take this and you see the two little circles there. Um, they, the holes there, they go in those little circles they can kind of fit in, so, um, I just push in the bottom piece, like that kind of, and then push in the cannon somewhat. So it's not like, it doesn't really click into place, it just kind of just pushes in right there into the holes, um, and then you have like a little cannon sticking out like that, so, um, that's kind of neat to have, I guess. Uh, so, if you wanted to have, like that, um, you know, that is that is a possibility. So that's kind of one of the, the different designs there. And actually, if I were to take this off... Here, if I can pull this thing off. You know, you can even just keep just the cannon parts on like that and have them... You know, do uh, there's lots of different combinations that you can do with the cannon in there. I think it's kind of neat to have, have that sort of uh, functionality there. So anyways, let's take all those pieces off there. All right, um, then the other thing that you can do, if I grab, uh, where's this guy? The Ghost Egg Great one. I can pull this helmet piece off and stick this on. So that looks a little odd, just the color scheme, but you know, whatever, you can do that. Uh, let's close this up for now. Stick this arm on there, and this Ranger Key arm. And you have that little combo there. So the color scheme is a bit odd with the blue arms and stuff, but kind of neat to have, especially 
you know, if you like the little chainsaw arm there, which is kind of neat. And again, with this, you can take this piece here, push the two leg pieces together like so, take out the little chainsaw, and make this the arm. Twist the little ranger key here, push this in, And this piece does not go on there, actually. Um, I thought it did, but, uh... Huh. Oh, I guess not. Okay, never mind. Sorry, I didn't read the instructions on this. I just assumed. So, you can actually not put this piece in the, uh, in the little arm, in, this, in the thing there. So that's kind of unfortunate. It would have been kind of cool to have that. Um, but I guess, for whatever reason, they chose to give you that extra functionality with the legendary one. So if you want more, if you want something to, to put in there, get the legendary Zord armor. Because it looks like this one, the Gose Great Zord armor, uh, does not allow you to do that there. So um, that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, I guess they just give you the option of, of using either arm if you want. So anyways, there's that. All right, so let's take off these pieces here. So you can get crazy with your Zord Builder combinations. You know, you can attach this, like uh, for example, like here's the Gose Great Megazord, so I can take this off, and let's give him a little chainsaw arm. So it kind of is similar to the Shark Zord, but now, oh, that's not the chainsaw arm, that's the Ranger Key arm, huh? You can do that if you want, but here's the little chainsaw arm. So, you know, you can kind of have fun with that. So, like I said, there's lots of different combinations that you can do with these things to make them kind of uh, really interesting looking. So, Zord Builder offers up just so many possibilities, which is great. So, uh, that's what I uh, really like about the whole Zord Builder thing. Okay, so then, let's take uh, this guy here. Alright, so there's one other thing that I want to show you guys about this. And the main other functionality of these toys is the Ranger Key arm that it comes with. I'm just going to reassemble these real quick while I talk. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's a... Stop calling me. Somebody's calling me, but I'm trying to do a review. Alright. So I'll put those back on. So basically, um, you can take these Ranger Key arms and you can actually use that in... Oh, I reset the helmet. I'm wrong. Whoops. And I can then... There we go. Okay, so there's that. So these Ranger Key arms, um, if you detach these two, these are the Super Mega Force and the Mega Force keys. So here's the Super Mega Force uh, Red Ranger Key here. Actually, this is the Super Mega Force Red Key, if you want specifics. You'll see it's the same exact... Uh, same exact thing there. So if I were to use this key, it's going to say Super Mega Force Red. So they actually specifically put the Red Ranger key attachment on this on this arm here. Uh, this arm is actually going to say Mega Force. So this is the Mega Force attachment. So with these ones, you can use these in a variety of places. You know, you can use these on the uh, back of the the Megazord here. It doesn't matter which one; they're all the same. So it works here just fine. Um, so you can kind of, if you want like a bigger thing rather than the tiny little key to attach, you know, you have that option there and the Megazord. Um, on the uh, Deluxe Super Mega Blaster here, you can use it on here. Um, it's not going to fully close properly because of this piece here, um, but, uh, you know, just as a FYI. So it's basically, it's a universal thing there. Um, on the cycles as well, so if I'm just going to grab a random cycle here, so you can use this on the cycle, just again, because of this piece that sticks out, it's not going to be on the ground fully, so then when you try and twist it, you know, it's already going to be off the ground, so the wheel is probably already going to go, so that doesn't really help there. But anyways, the main little feature of that is that you can use this in the morpher as well. So, let's turn this on. Alright, let's take the red one from the legendary Zord armor, so let's turn this. All right, it says Super Mega Force Red. Do it again. Summon 
So summon Skyship. So the same exact thing as if I were to put in a Super Mega Force Red Ranger key, it would say the same exact stuff in there. Uh, now this one is a Mega Force key, so I don't have any of the Mega Force ones, so let's do that now. Let's close that for fun. Ready and. So it says Mega Force. Now here's uh, one interesting little fact. So with the Super Mega Force keys, you turn it once, it says Super Mega Force in the color, second time, and it says there's Zord. With every other season, you turn it once, it'll say the season name, second time, it does the do 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 do, right? Except Mega Force. The second time you turn it, it doesn't do anything. It just says Mega Force again. So I do this again. I do this again. So for whatever reason, they don't have the communicator sound playing for Megaforce. Um, so that's kind of interesting. But I did notice a fun little fact. Are you ready for this? If you put the Megaforce key in first, which I just did, right? I just did Megaforce. Now you take the Super Megaforce, uh, here's the Red Ranger key, Super Megaforce Red Ranger key, twist it. So this is a Mega Force theme song. So if you do a Mega Force key and then a Super Mega Force key, it plays the Mega Force slash Super Mega Force theme song after it. So that's kind of interesting. Maybe it's because the Mega Force Rangers then turn into Super Mega Force. So I, I just happen to notice that. And if I try this again, let's try Mega Force. We don't need to do the full thing there. Here's the Super Mega Force Blue Ranger. Super Mega Force. Oh. There's the theme song again. So it only works for that. Now if I did, like, I'll show you some other examples. If I do Mega Force. All right, and then I take the Try Me key, which just says Super Mega Force, not a specific Ranger color, just the generic Super Mega Force. Super Mega Force. No theme song. Did you notice that? So let's try one other test, Mega Force. Mega Force. And then just some other random season like Lost Galaxy. Nothing. Uh, yeah, basically, so what that tells us is if you put in Mega Force and then a specific Super Mega Force key, then it plays a theme song. If you just put in the generic Super Mega Force thing, like from the Try Me key or whatever, it's not gonna work. So if you put in Mega Force, which right now is with this Zord Armor key, or if you get the Mega Force Ranger key pack, and then a specific Super Mega Force Ranger, blue, red, whatever color, it plays a Mega Force slash Super Mega Force theme song. So fun little fact there. So anyways, I took way too long talking about that. But uh, yeah, just uh, lots of different possibilities here with all these little ranger key things. Um, so there you have it. I mean, those are the Zord Armor figures. Uh, I just wanted to show you all the different uh, things that you can do with them. Um, so, you know, like I said, the there's it comes with a little 4-inch figure, these cheap-looking little things, which are not that great in my opinion, but you can use any 4-inch figure, which makes it kind of neat to have this functionality. Um, overall... Um, they look, you know, kind of kiddy in a way, but I like the designs that they went for, um, especially the helmets. I think were, were kind of unique in these and, and kind of interesting. And I like the Zord Builder parts. You know, I think it's great to have more Zord Builder parts, um, especially like the little chainsaw and the cannon thing. I think those are pretty cool. Uh, and having Ranger Key arms 
is kind of odd, but it works. Taking them off and using them in the morpher and whatever, um, it's just an extra bit of fun, I guess. Uh, so there's lots of different things that you can do with these. So actually, you know, I gotta say, I kind of like them. Overall, I wasn't expecting to, but I kind of like them. I kind of think they're, they're pretty neat to have. Uh, so that is another thing to uh, possibly collect if you want to. Um, so if you don't want to collect the Ranger Key packs, but you want the Megaforce sound, well, there you go. This key is the Megaforce uh, key right there. And this one here is Super Megaforce Red, which comes with, like, the Morpher and stuff anyways, so you don't really uh, need to hunt that down. But at least if you get both of these, you get the, you're get you able to play the theme song in the Morpher, so that's a little bonus. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, that's about it. Those are the Zord Armors. The Deluxe Legendary... Zord Armor Ranger, and then the Deluxe Gose Great Zord Armor Ranger. So those are showing up in Target stores slowly, so definitely uh, check those out if you're interested. Uh, they're not going to be in the show as far as we know, um, but uh, it's just a fun little thing for the toy line, and I kind of like them. I think they're kind of neat. So if you guys have any questions or anything, please post them in the comments below, and I'll try and answer them for you. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Got lots more Super Mega Force reviews on the way. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to collect everything Super Mega Force. The good, the bad, the ugly. I'm going to get it. I'm going to review it, and we're going to see how it is. So thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoy this little review here, and see you guys later. Breaking.